Hello everybody, so in this video I'm going to tell you some main points about cold applications, hot applications and also how to use these applications for a patient after a surgery. So although it seems like a very simple concept, uh, one question that we are commonly asked is when to use ice and uh, when to use heat. And one main point to remember is that ice always reduces inflammation while heat stimulates blood flow. One Color such as ice buds or ice packs are uh, usually used for the treatment of acute injured um, provoked pain. As I previously mentioned, cold therapy reduces inflammation and uh, cold therapy is a great option not because it only reduces inflammatory symptoms, it can be as uh, analgesic as well. And here you can see uh, ice pack. So in this role play, I'll be using this ice pack. So unlike cold therapy, heat therapy stimulates blood flow and this is helpful in the treatment of pain due to chronic overuse type injuries or disease processes. And applying heat to these areas helps to stimulate um, flow of oxygen rich blood which can decrease the amount of lactic acid in the muscles, thereby decreasing pain and improving range of motion. So let me show you the heat impact. Heat impact. You can use this as well and there are plenty of other supplies you can use as well when to use what um, using ice is critical for use after procedures such as total joint replacements to um, joint manipulations under anesthesia fusion tendon. Uh, so now you'll see a little role play of a patient who had a total knee replacement enjoy hey. can i come in yes please how are you feeling today I feel okay. Good. Yeah. Any pain? Yeah. Don't okay. need any. Okay. It is normal. It is very normal. Okay. But now I'm here to put some ice on you. Is it okay? Okay. Is it piston? Yes. Yeah. Because after total knee replacement, um, bleeding can occur in the joints and it may cause infections like hematoma. We don't want any risks here. Okay. So like uh, putting some ice can slow down the bleeding and it can help you to avoid all the risks. And um, so there will be less risk for immobility too. Okay? So let me help you to put ice. Do you feel pain here? Yeah. I'll put ice for 20 minutes on and off for the first 48 to 72 hours, okay? This is extremely important. Okay, we are done for today. See you tomorrow. See you, thank you.